In this video, we're going to take a look at all the necessary items that we need to know to put drawings on sheets. Some of the tools that we're going to use are importing a title block, creating a guide grid so that all of our views can be organized in the same location on a sheet, and we're also going to look at ways that we can optimize that process to make sure that we're continuously using the same standards from project to project. To put this view on a sheet, the first thing we need to do is create a new sheet. So I want to make sure I'm on the View tab. I'm going to click on Sheet. And the title block that I want is not listed here, so I'm going to go ahead and click Load. And I'm going to go to my Imperial Library. Make sure I'm on Title Blocks. And I'm going to load in the E1 30 by 42 and hit OK. Now to put this view on a sheet, what I'll need to do is go into my project browser, find the view I'm looking for. In this case, it's going to be the floor plan, eighth inch. And I'll drag and drop it and place it on a sheet. Once I've got it set, I can go in and I can adjust the number. I'll call this one A201 because it's the first floor plan. And then I'll just give it a name. And if I repeat the process and do the same thing again, I could put the second floor plan on a sheet. And notice the number, it's going to follow in sequence. And I can just give it a name again and put the view on the sheet. Now, you may have noticed that I did not put level one and level two in the same exact location on the sheet. They definitely do not align. So to do that, what I can do is I can put one in the location I want. And here I'm just using the directional pad on the keyboard to kind of fine tune that location. And what I could do is I could pick a common grid intersection. So we'll say A and one is a good place for that. And I can create a guide grid. And I'll call this one overall plans because I might use it. I might use a different one for something else. But this is the guide grid I want to use for my overall floor plans. Now, the big grid is nice to have, but it doesn't really give me a good spot to locate my plan. So I'm going to reduce this down all the way until I just have one intersection. Now, by doing that, what I can do is I can move the guide grid from that intersection to the intersection of grids A and 1. And now I have a common element between sheets that I could use to place my second floor plan on. So you may notice that the guide grid is not shown here. So what I need to do is go into my sheet properties, find guide grid, and turn on overall plans. Now I can move the view for level 2 from that same intersection to where the guide grid is sitting. And what that gives me is the plans in both views in the same location.